the uh, last bit in the gallery tonight is this. It's a postcard, right, which I picked up in a tourist shop in Oxford Street. Um, it's quite small, so I've had it enlarged. There it is there. <laughs> this, uh, this postcard is a picture of a dog and a kitten there. And they're sat at uh, a piano keyboard there. Then uh, there's another kitten up there. It's not actually at the keyboard with them. It's just looking down on them two uh, with a sort of mixture of envy and contempt. <laughs> you probably can't see that, but it is there, trust me. <laughs> Spent quite a long time looking at this, trying to work out what's going on. What, what seems to have happened over here, one of two possibilities. Either this dog has sort of jumped up on a piano stool, or else this piano has been kind of sunk into the ground, and this is some kind of purpose-built pet music venue. <laughs> but it's not that, he's, he's jumped up on a stool there, and with his big chunky paws, right, that dog is picking out like a bass melody on there. Then that kitten, that's a much smaller, more nimble-footed member of the animal kingdom, that's using its dainty feet to pick out like a, a treble melody over the top of that. And they're playing together there. That kitten, as I said, not involved. Just forget about that one for now. <laughs> I'll cover it up to help you. <laughs> if you look there, right, you see uh, there's a music stand. But there's, there's no music on it. So presumably what they're doing is some sort of jazz piece some kind of improvised thing. Also, there's a lot of eye contact between the dog and the kitten there, which would support that idea. Like, he's looking at him going, I'm going into A now. He's going, yes, fine. <laughs> Adjusting accordingly. So, a, do a dog and a kitten there playing some sort of improvised music at piano. That kitten up there, as I said, not involved in that. I think that's probably because that kitten had a much more formal musical training. <laughs> You know, it'd be all right with structured works, but it can't really adapt to this kind of free-form environment. Maybe on the way there, the three of them were in the van, had some kind of set list worked out, and uh, that kitten was saying, we will be playing those songs we've rehearsed, won't we? And they were going, yeah, fine. <laughs> Definitely. He was saying, we, we will be doing that uh, Do the Boxer Beat by Joe Boxers that we've practiced. <laughs> And they went, yeah, that's the first thing, top of the set list, mate. <laughs> Definitely. Then they got there, three of them sat down, started off, do the bucks, of, and then they just went off at a mad improvisational tangent. <laughs> and he had to go up there. <laughs> they couldn't do it. <laughs> it's not music, just the noise. <laughs> That kitten's looking across at them and he's saying to them too, you pair of fucking lying cunts. <laughs> Said we were going to do the fucking Joe Boxers thing. And that dog's looking up at him, he's saying to him, what's the matter, Simon? Can't you play jazz, mate? We can, we've been able to do it since we were one. <laughs> and he's going, yeah, I can, I could do it easy. I just, I wanted to do what you'd said we'd do, the box of Joe boxes. Like you said. And he's going, ah ha. Ah Maybe what, what happened is like they knew that like a two-way split on the money would be better than a three-way split, right? <laughs> but rather than go through the horrible formality of actually having to sack Simon out of the group, they just decided to start playing stuff they couldn't do. <laughs> so they'd leave on his own, go up there, and then just stop coming altogether. Or maybe it's that there's some kind of sexual intrigue, right, between, <laughs> between that dog and that kitten. 
So they wanted that one out of the picture. Now you might look at that and say, no, that's stupid. Those two kittens are largely identical. Why, in Christ's name, why would that dog choose to be attracted to that one over that one? And I say to you, well, cast your mind back, right? You remember Paul Robinson in Neighbours? Maybe that kitten's got a wonky lip. That makes it more attractive. He probably will have an affair with that one at some stage. But we don't know. Anything could happen. This is six months behind. You know. They could have a child, those two. They could have a half-dog, half-kitten child. Called, for the sake of argument, Alan. So it was called that. And then suppose this Alan dog, kitten, creature, would, would to go away for six months on some kind of inexplained trip and then come back. But instead of being, it would still be called Alan, but instead of being half dog, half kitten, it would now be half dog, half worm, right? <laughs> Nobody would mention that. They would just go, <laughs> Alan, good to have you back, mate. You're the same as you always were. <laughs> so a postcard there of a dog and a kitten playing improvised music at a piano. And on the back of this postcard, right up here, it says, Greetings from London. <laughs> Side of London you don't see so often, that. <laughs> but it's good there was someone there with a the camera to get that when that happened, I was thinking. All right, uh, okay. is that all right? Oh, Thank you. Well. All right. Thanks. I'm proud of you. Cheers. I've just been to the bar to get a drink. I don't yeah, know where I know Pete went to. Been. Oh, 